happily ever after. When thinking of Walt Disney, you may think of his famous animations, but very few know about his career when the U.S. was at war. During the war, many countries weren't showing Walt's films, which plummeted his cash flow. Tough times ensued for Disney Studios, but there was one saving grace, the government. The government hired Walt Studio for educational films and stories on the disasters of communism. Walt's storytelling taught soldiers how to use certain equipment and gave them added inspiration to fight for their country. After the war was over, many leaders dubbed Walt one of the greatest teachers of all time. Despite being an ally for the U.S., Walt's films also had a lot of negative side effects. It may have distorted some people's view of reality. One thing common in Disney films is the happily ever after narrative. The moviegoers see the prince and princess getting married after a bunch of conflict. The film ends with, then the two lived happily ever after. Many moviegoers accidentally bring this narrative into reality. They don't see the part where the prince and princess argue over where to go for their honeymoon once the film is over. Reality is a lot messier than movies. In my book, The Art and Science of Storytelling, I share how all stories need a character, conflict, lesson. Art imitates life. Not all stories have the coveted happy ending. But all stories do have a lesson. <laughs>